Hey everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon. And this month we're talking about stress, but a little different take than we usually do. Yeah. Either way, we're talking about stress. Yeah, once again. <laughs> yes. So today specifically we're talking about stress when it comes to your gut. Yeah. Now, if you ever felt really nervous or anxious, you might feel really, you know, like your stomach might hurt, you might have weird bowel movements, yeah. or if your stomach hurts a lot, we have clients all the time that they just get anxious because their stomach hurts. Mm. So it's just this kind of game that the body plays because of stress and digestion. Yeah. So how do you want to address that? Today? Well, I think it's awesome, right? Well, one, first of all, we, we got to produce hydrochloric acid in there to help break down the nutrients. Well, when you're running from a tiger or you're stressed out, you're really not producing hydrochloric acid that well. Your body doesn't care about food. <laughs> nope. It really wants to survive the tiger fight, right? Or the, right. the attack. So that's the idea. So what we're talking about here is we can add in nutritional support like Zypan or something like that to help increase hydrochloric acid in the gut to break down the nutrients because then what else goes along with that you need nutrients and minerals to help your stress response Mm -hmm. well shoot that's two strikes against the digestive system if you don't have hydrochloric acid and you don't have minerals because that tiger you gotta either climb the tree or fight it or get away from it right it's never you know once you're through that process it's now to deal with the next thing Mm -hmm. and what ends up happening too also when we have that stress response is we get a gut change the gut flora changes changes. and what's really cool and i'm going to talk about this product today it's called gi stability what this does really well is it actually supports and feeds good microbiome, yep, which is amazing because we don't really get that many targeted nutrients for that. We just throw a bunch of probiotics at it, right? Like, oh, just get more probiotic. When really what we should do is be really strengthening the good bacteria, mm-hmm. not just throwing in a bunch. And yep. this will help us strengthen the good bacteria so that it can help you deal with that stress response better. Yep, or even sure. the colostrum difficile that may show up or the yeast or things like that. Mm-hmm. So. I just think it's really neat when we start to understand more about physiology instead of understanding, well, oh, it's okay for you to be stressed. Here's your drug. Or, oh, it's okay for you to be stressed. Here's this. Let's really understand what's happening and why then we have these butterflies or this nervousness or the stress or anxiety. Yeah, how they're connected. Thing. Yeah, and how, well, beautifully sure. they're connected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Jessica, thank you. Course, so, course. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's kind of a neat, deep dive into the physiology and how it all goes together. So you guys get a little bit more of an understanding. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this is great for you guys to learn. Share this with your friends and family. And we'll see you guys again on the next Breakfast with Bacon. Thanks.